go give you a tour of my van. We're here in Hawaii. You don't see a whole lot of vans, a whole lot of uh, RVs. Every once in a while, somebody will ship one over. And uh, you can pretty much park them anywhere you want, except for the, for the Class A's. You can't do that. But you get your Class B's and C's and... Uh, normally you can find places to park on the street. Uh, let me go give you a, a tour of my van. I have the Road Trek 1995 Road Trek 190 Versatile. You know what's really good about owning a Class B van is here in Hawaii, here in Honolulu, you can pretty much park them anywhere on any street. Anywhere that's, you know, just legal parking, you can park them anywhere. Having, having a Something like a road trek over here is more like a novelty, it seems like. But I tell you what, I love my road trek. It's come in handy so many times. If there's a block on the freeway or something, I don't have to worry about trying to get to the gas station, go to the bathroom. Hello. Welcome to my office and my restaurant on wheels. Let me give you a tour. Okay, here's your standard road trek uh, driver's area. Of course, the captain seats and the other seat goes, it turns around, completely turns around. So you can have a nice little leisurely meal by yourselves or with some friends. There's the seats back here. I don't have the armoire, whatever they call that. And this one, I left the seats in. And what I like about this, you know, it's got a lot of neat little different things. I think this was pretty much a sliding thing was standard in all the 95s. I, I guess they were. What I like about it is you can turn that into bench seats and there's a table that goes in the back. And the newer ones now, the opening here, I, I don't think it, 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 it's at an angle. You have to just open up the doors a little bit at an angle. But the older models, like my 95 here, completely closes off that section. So that's a private section back there. And of course, it's got the bathroom in here. Don't mind my mess, I haven't really cleaned it up in a while. But this side also closes up. So you got a perfect little private area. You got the fantastic fan there to help you air it out. But it makes it nice and private in here. For all of you uh, out there that aren't familiar with the Road Trek uh, van, uh, it does have the shower, it has the toilet, it has the shower curtain that goes around on these rails here, and of course, it's got the drain in the floor. Let me see, kick this away. Right there, the drain on the floor. That's where everything goes after you take a shower. Of course, we have here, we've got the two burner stove, we've got the sink, good enough size sink for one or two people. And of course, it's got the Dometic fridge, Right down here, three-way fridge. Lots of storage. Got all this storage in here. Comes with the microwave oven. I don't really use it that much, just if I want to heat a pizza or something. It's got the nice little fan over the top of the burners. Little air conditioner in the back. Of course, the whole thing is run off the uh, Onan generator that I have in there. It's, it's a good generator. It's been working pretty good for me. Kitchen. It's got a nice little curtain right here if you want to open that up. And of course, got the windows in the front. And I guess that's about it. Very simple, but very workable. Like I said, I use this when I have to go do a, a gig and I have to change into my tux or a suit or whatever or when we have friends over. And like I say, these things here are just classic and they, you can park these anywhere on the island without, you know, people giving you heat or getting stopped. So, that's about it. That's the tour of my road trip.